a, a brief introduction to your new T1000 printer and in saying that I'm using a T800 which was the first model. Um, I've been using this for about five years now and it's never failed. So let's start with the printer itself. Uh, it comes with its own QWERTY keyboard which is, um, can be operated just as you see it or by USB uh, cable to your PC which will enable you to be able to import from Excel spreadsheets so forth and so on. The keyboard on the printer is just like what you have on your PC. There's different coloured keys along the top, they're all your function keys. Everything in blue is a function key and it tells the printer to do something over and above um, what the normal keys would do. So you can set the length, you can frame your work if you like, you can pick your character size, uh, set how many lines you want on the product, so forth and so on. So once you've taken all the tape of it and got it sitting in front of you, you can open it up with this little lever here. And inside here, um, I'll go through a couple of the components. The print head, which I'm pointing at now, is on that side. Never ever touch that with your fingers or any other object apart from a very, very soft cloth with isopropylene or some other uh, alcohol wipe. Um, very rarely you'll ever have to do that. The little yellow uh, piece here, keep your fingers away from it because it's what they call the cutting device. That will half cut through your products and then ultimately cut right through it at the end of the print cycle. The lever back here is just a release button and I'll explain that once we have some profile inside the, um, inside the printer. And all these rollers here are just um, how to get the profile through. Now, the very, probably one of the most important things I'm going to have to talk to you about are the two profile feeders. There's one with a brown clip and one with a blue clip or a purple clip. The brown clip is only for wire markers and that's the only profile that you'll put through it. Anything else goes through the one with the purple clip. The machine works on friction if you like and what I've found a lot of um, electricians have done to make it easier to put the profile through here is they've lift, lifted this chrome spring back towards themselves and bent it, which means the friction is taken away and the profile will flow straight through there and you will get an error signal on your screen saying no media detected or something similar. The most fiddly part of the whole process of this printer is to actually load this with the profile. You can see a foam rubber hole here if you like, that's deliberately put there to clean the product as it goes through the printer, gets all the dust and other grime off it. So then we load this profile up, this is the typical cable label material, PO-068. Like I say, it's a wee bit fiddly to get it through. So just push it through there like that. And there it goes. So that gets pushed right through to the end of the carrier. And protrudes about a quarter of an inch out the other end. Like so. There's two little feet on the bottom here. They get placed into there and then down onto the printer like so. The ribbon, which is 100 meters long, then gets installed. Goes in there like so. Click that down. And then we close the lid. And we're ready to print. So we turn the machine on. Okay, so there's already a job in the printer, so what I suggest you do is to, along the blue keys here, delete all and delete the text, otherwise you'll bring up old jobs in there, and then delete the printer settings. So there's absolutely nothing in the memory bank of this printer at the moment. So we'll set the length to 40 mils, then you go up automatic, and it'll go from 8 millimeters to 150 millimeters. Scroll down there, type in 40, and everything you do is entered normal, centered and off and now we're ready to print. So 
First label, two, three, four, five. Enter. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Enter. Print. Select the profile, which is written on the, the on the reel, and this is a PO product. We scroll down to PO, and it'll default to the one you're using, PO 068. Then enter, and enter. So it's half cutting, half cutting, and now it will full cut. And there are your labels. And when you come to the finish off your job, um, to remove the material from the machine, once again it's a, a very cleverly put together. And the blue key here says remove, press remove, and then enter. And that will automatically unload your material, open up the lid, pop that out and then start with your new material. In the unlikely event that the material does get jammed between the rollers, um, you might have some contaminant on it that may have caused it to happen. Nothing on this machine needs to be forced whatsoever. So what you do is you open up your lid, like so, with the lever back here, you release all the pressure off the rollers Gently pull that back towards you, that's the ribbon, and then you can pull the product out, release that, and start again. I've got the T1000 printer now hooked up to my computer via USB. Um, the software program that I'm using is called WinSign. So you've got your printer, which is a T800 on my one. You've got the product group, which we're going to do as a cable marker. You select cable marker, it defaults to your PO06H which we'll be using, and then you give your job a name. So we'll call this one uh, CSL. Once you've done that, you can pop, pop the cursor into the text row, and um, you can select the, uh, the length of the product that you want. So we're going to make a 40mm cable label want one of each. We're going to make the font size 3 at 100%. Just do that again, 3 at 100%. Type in your in your text. And if I press print now, uh, that will just print out through the through the printer. So I press printer connect on the blue lines of the printer. Go to print, there's my label there, and I run it. And you may not or may be able to see it, but it is now printing that label. job done. Probably more of interest to you would be an Excel spreadsheet. It's uh, not rocket science. All you do is copy your text that you want, like so. Go back to your software, put your cursor in there, and paste. There's your labels. Now, if you've got a um, different number of each that you need to be printed, you go back and copy that row with the numbers of each. And the only trick to this is you paste number of each. There you go. And press print again. And I'm not going to print this, but there's all your printing that's uh, been set out.